This is session two of our uh, Night Scout migration strategies. Last we spoke with Terry Witt. Tonight, Mike Plant is going to walk us through a through of the options. We've got Marion Barker from our team here as well. We will probably have one more session and be happy to help people through this as best we can. Unfortunately, there are very few experts on any of this right now since we're all working through it at the same time. Nobody has any experience with any of this. So welcome, everyone. Uh, the chat will be going quite a bit. If you have questions, feel free to put your questions in chat. All right, take it away, Mike. All right, hello, um, I'm Mike. So we're gonna go over some of the, the options for Night Scout. Um, as you should know, it ends on the 28th of this month for the Heroku free version. So if you're watching this or you're here, you're probably looking at your options for what to do. There's a few different free options. There's a few different paid options, but there's a lot of different options to look through for Night Scout. Um, we're essentially just changing this middle cloud here. So your your you are if you if you change from Heroku, because you could just switch to paying $5 for Heroku, that's definitely the easiest. And if you aren't sure what to do and it's getting close to the end of the month, um, you haven't done anything else yet, or you just haven't decided and want to put it off a little, just pay the $5 and switch your Heroku over to the paid. And you can always just switch back later to one of the other options. Otherwise, you'll be changing this, this middle one. So your Night Scout URL will change. So you'll have to update your URL for all the other things that you're sending to it. So in loop, you'll change it. Um, all your followers, so all your little the URLs with the tokens, you'll update those and give people the new links. Any services that use it, like Sugar Pixel or if this, then that. I see Brad's hand hey, raised. <laughs> a, a quick question, because uh, I was afraid I wouldn't pull the trigger. I went ahead and signed up to the $7, um, and I saw that Heroku is now offering five. Uh, it's only $2 per month, but I might as well have it. Um, is that going to be an automatic? Do I have to change I, things in my Heroku? I think you have to just go into Heroku and change it to the, I think it's like eco tier yeah, or something. You have to change now. it from the hobby plan to the eco plan. Thank you. But, yeah. And it's, it's a $2 change. Yeah. Obviously two hour favorable change and their eco plan is limited to a thousand hours a month, which is totally in our pay grade. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's in our I'd rather be able to buy someone else a coffee instead of Heroku. Yeah, half a coffee. And we really do recommend to anybody who's struggling with any of this or decides they don't have the time, just go for the $5 and reassess. Do not stress over any of this. And Mike, you're going to show people how to do the $5 transfer. Is that part of this? Session? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll go over that first. Where to click into that and where to find the instructions if you don't know where they are. So that yeah, that, that first one for Heroku, it's just $5 a month now, or by the end of this month, it will be. And so it's a quick and easy one. You already have it. Uh, so this link here, it's on Night Scout. Um, so it'll walk you through how to do it. So basically, you just log into your Heroku, click on your... Click on your Night Scout instance. You'll do change dyno type, which should be at the top. Resources. Oh, here. Today. Oh, here. So upgrade your dyno. So for dynos, you're going to hit upgrade there. And then you can just hit subscribe to eco. Um, I think it this will bring you to the same button. Um, so yeah, if you're if you had the hobby before, you'll just click over to do this eco one instead. Um, save you two dollars a month. I wonder if there's a notification when your credit card gets low, you know, when it gets close to its expiration date, if they send you an, a notification. Yeah, I'm I not imagine sure. they do. I, I think every company does that. But you could also um, change the credit card and and um, make sure you put one in that's got... Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah.
and then in resources um, after you after you click on this then you'll go into resources and you have to toggle this over to enable it so um, I didn't choose the five dollar plan to switch to it so it doesn't show up for me but you would just toggle this on and then to get to your billing settings make sure your credit card is up to date you just go into account settings billing and then here's where you would change your credit card or remove it and add a new one and then it should just continue to work as it works right now you're just paying the five dollars difference Um, any questions on that? Yeah, where where was the resource page again? Sorry. So if you're in, if you just go to heroku.com and click on your instance, then it's just this thing on the top. Thank you. Got so it. You'll go to resources, and like if you're going yeah. to your your variables, it would be in settings. But it, it also looks like um, it's on every page right now. <laughs> <laughs> they want to make sure that when you get there, you, you can see that button. Um, yeah, to and it also out. says, if you've subscribed, it says zero dollars, because I assume it changes on December 1st when, you know, when the selection takes effect, because your first billing isn't until December 1st. Does anyone know what happens between November 28th and December 1st then? Like, are we still going to have access? <laughs> If we've upgraded, I think it's just a billing thing. I don't think you actually change anything about your site, right? I wouldn't think so. Like once once yeah. you're subscribed and upgraded, like the billing should just shift over whenever that um, sounds like it's the first. Yeah, they probably but, just wanted two days to make sure that uh, that they had all the billing right for all the new uh, five dollar a month plans they're going to get. Let's start with those of us who didn't do anything and take down our sites for those first couple of days. <laughs> Well, that's an important point, Rebecca. You know, as adult, as if you're an adult T1D, a couple of days isn't really going to matter one way or another. I, I think for parents, it's critical that they don't let this lapse because they're going to, they really need to have access to their kids. Yeah, and especially if they're using the bonus features to remote access stuff. I imagine that if, if you've signed up to pay, they'll, they'll make sure you don't lose access for those two days. <laughs> so for, if you're, going to do it DIY then there's a bunch of other options that you can switch to and I believe they're all free or at least relatively close to free because I know for like railway it'll give you a five dollar credit when I was using it it was maybe like a dollar fifty to three dollars a month so that's well under the five dollar credit I don't know what could could make it go over that but there is a potential if you have more than one, if you have more than one site you yeah know, if you got it's multiple family members might go over. Um, I think there's something about like if you have watches that are constantly being updated and they have like a, a backlog every time they get uploaded. It's like a niche thing, but apparently that messes up some people's. But basically there's there won't be a cap there. It won't stop you at that $5. So there's a potential of you going over. I'm not sure if North Flank is the, the same similar way, but with both of those options, they're fairly small companies. So I wouldn't recommend to, to use either one of those if you haven't switched there already just because it's a little more unsure about what their future will hold and how long they'll continue to be free or even exist on the the other two free options are this google cloud and then azure which is by microsoft so both of those are by big giant corporations they have plenty of resources to just keep a free tier and they both offer a free tier azure will actually like cap you at the free tier unless you tell it to go not free it won't go not free google if you click the wrong buttons and set it up wrong you might not be in the free tier and then you might get charged but as soon as you figure that out you can just cancel delete everything in there and then reset it up as the free one but ideally just if you follow the guide correctly it'll it'll be the free tier i've i've only i only tested it in google cloud but all of them should be able to do remote overrides remote carbs remote bolus that should work in all of them um, but again, the only one I've personally tested it in is, well, Heroku and uh, Google Cloud. So between the, the the Google and the Azure, some some key differences between them. Azure, I feel like is is easier to set up. 
the easy to set up mode, you're also going to be using the, the MongoDB that you're using with your, your Heroku. Basically, Heroku or Cloud or Azure, like these are through your front end. So they're the URL that you go to, they're what makes everything look pretty. And then for most of these, MongoDB is the database on another site that holds all your data. So it stores all your blood glucose values and all your treatments and everything. And then one of these accounts will look at that database and then put it on the screen. So these other ones, you can just take that, that database that you're already using with Heroku and then just use that in your other ones. But those are also uh, the Mongo, the free one for that's only 500 megabytes which is why you have to do regular maintenance, go back in and delete old entries or like data passed from like six months or more ago. For the, the Google option, it'll, it, it has its own database system and it's giant, it's 20 gigs. So in all likelihood, you, there's a pretty low chance of you ever getting even close to hitting that number. So you don't have to really go back and clean your database up and delete old entries and everything. So that makes it a little easier for the, the longevity standpoint. And then also if you really wanted to look at your data from four years ago, I suppose you could. Yeah, just to that point, I, uh, I did the Google Cloud a couple of days ago. <clears throat> and then yesterday I transferred all my data over. So that's uh, more than two years of data that I transferred over and it all pulled into the Google Cloud. Took a while, but I'm now using 5% of my data, 5% of the 20 gigabyte limit I told it to, to take account of. So I think I, I think that gives me 20 years before we'd start hitting up. <laughs> and maybe I, you know, I expect to live 20 more years. So so there. Yeah, it took a while because that was a lot of data. You know, and that is one of the things that I've really enjoyed about Team One Pal is you never had to go in and clean out old data. And I, I really don't think I've looked back in the in the past that long, but uh, it was it was an interesting experiment. So can I ask? I, I have a Google account that is the, a Google email and and photos account that is pretty oh. close to out of storage. Is this using the same storage as that, or would this be a brand new Google no. thing that has no relation to my email? Yeah, limit? completely separate. Okay. So yeah, on that, like you'll, for the, the other ones, they'll just use that same database you're using before, but the Google one, you can import from whatever your current NightScout is using. So if you're using T1Pal or Heroku, or you've already tried out one of these other options, you can just type in your current Night and Scout URL and a token while you're setting up the Google and it'll just import it. Azure, they, they do have another a database system that's also 20 gigs for free. But it sounds like there might be some issues with Android APS using that. Um, and I don't know if those are, I don't know what those issues are or if they're similar for loop or not. I also haven't seen a guide to import your Mongo into that new database for Azure. So that's kind of a potential in the future to set up, but I wouldn't use their, their new Cosmo DB yet until that gets a little more fleshed out. So for hosted, there's, there's T1PAL and there's NS10B. So the, the T1PAL, it's about $12 a month. NS10B is five euros or 50 euro a year. And there's different tiers within that. Like you could buy three months at a time and it's somewhere in the middle of that. They both offer support. So somebody else is taking care of the database. Someone like sets it up. Um, it should be relatively simple for you to set up a, an account with one of these two for a night scout. A big difference is uh, T1PAL, you can't import current ones. Like if you're using Heroku now and you do want to switch to T1PAL, it's just a fresh start. For NS10B, they will take your old Night Scout and import it. NS10B does all the, the remote override carb boluses. Um, T1PAL does, does do the overrides remotely, but it doesn't do the remote carbs or bolus. And then they both have a few features that I'm not entirely sure what all of them do because I don't use them. But they have listed on their website that if you use any of these or these, then those options won't work for them. But otherwise, these ones are basically you just pay that a month, someone else takes care of it, and it should just ideally continue to work. 
uh, they both advertise unlimited storage. I'm sure there's probably some sort of cap on that, but I don't, I think it's similar to the, the Google one where like, you're never going to hit that cap anyway. So it's uh, unlimited. And then they also both have dedicated support. So um, there's at least people that will answer your emails, um, not necessarily 24 seven, but but if you send them a, a message, they they will respond and hopefully sort out any issues you have. Unless anyone has anything else, um, I think that's about about all I have for the the different options to go through. If anyone's interested, I can run through uh, Google Cloud Build. I'll expand a little more on that now. So Google Cloud, like it's still in the early stages of them figuring out how to make it. So I have one up, it's running great, but setting it up is fairly difficult right now. You have to follow a guide. So all the guides are, if you just go to Night Scout and then migrate on the top, then it'll list all the different options. So you'll just click on any, whichever one you want to do. And Mike, if you don't mind uh, walking us through a Google build, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna gonna ask after I go through these a little. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. Um, it it will take like an hour or two um, to go through that whole process. So just for a I heads up, thing, anyone. Yeah, I think the thing that's really hard is picking how to do the free instance. Um, yeah. The rest of it's basically pushing buttons and waiting twenty minutes. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think if like by the time we get to the the big stretches of waiting, um, most of the difficult stuff is over. Agreed. Um, so yeah, if if you were setting up a, a brand new Night Scout, you could just go to the DIY Night Scout list on the top. But if you're switching from Heroku or somewhere else, then use the migrate. And then those options will be a little more specific for that. This is also the, the Night Scout, the GitHub is where you, if you have any questions about anything in Night Scout or like what different variables need mean or like how to implement if this, then that in it, um, you can just use this website for a lot of those answers. Um, all right. All right. Everyone have a wonderful night. Building Night Scout. Build, uh, building Night Scout, yes. A wonderful night building Night Scout. And again, none of us here are experts on any of this. We're just trying to work through it in real time and, and help the community as best we can. So if we sound like we know a little bit much, it's 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 all of a side. Uh, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook and we'll do our very best to help you. Thank you, everyone. I strongly support any meetings that tell me to procrastinate for another week or two. <laughs> <laughs> Just pay the five dollars procrastinate yeah. forever <laughs> i got my five dollar bills all set <laughs> have a great night thank yeah. you everyone Hi. bye